probably it was about 20 years back in 1996 when I, when I pondered on myself and thought that I should do something of my passion, not with my profession as a child accountant. And that's when uh, I decided that I should do something uh, with school education because education is very close to my heart and I love children. So the combination of these two things made me to think that I should uh, try to set up a good school. While making this, uh, three objectives I had set for myself while preparing this research paper for making up a good school. The first, that I will try not to make just another school. So I will try to make one of the best schools or a school which is different from the rest of the schools. So that was the first objective of my research. And that's what I profess to all my children, that try either to be the best or different from the rest. And that's what each sign here will tell you, that either they're the best or they're different from the rest. Each child of our school is unique. We do not want our parents to compare that so-and-so is good or so-and-so is keeping good marks, so my child should give good marks. It is our responsibility to find out what each child can do rather than finding out what each child cannot do. The whole world tries to find out what a child cannot do. So let's try to find out what the child can do. And once we find that the child is good at a particular thing, let's harness and nourish those skills along with the other skills. And that's why, that's how each child will be developed as a unique child. Because of positive of time, I'll only t you know, tell you three, four things that we are doing. Sai Vidya or SAMS is a software which we have developed. We try to track what is the reading skill of the child, what is the writing skill of the child, what is the listening skill of the child and what is the speaking skill of the child. And try to give marks to each of these skills and see in the computer to a simulation what is the projectile score of the child in English as a subject. About Sai Daitva is something that we are training our children to build in them the empathy. So what we try to do is take children to the slums, to the orphanages, to places to show them what is the difference of having something and not having something. And once they see for themselves the difference between having and not having, like we take children to a blind school, make them blindfolded, and keep them for a day with the blind school, with the blind students, to realize what will be the impact if you do not have eyes. You cannot teach this in this textbook. So this, this culminates within them as a sympathy which builds into their character. And this is what we try to do inside that. We also inside that we try to train our children. What is their concern about their fellow students, the teachers, and the society. The other thing that we are trying to do from class 1 to class 12 is Sai Sanskar. We have developed our own book and our curriculum and we are trying to teach from class 1 on Sai Sanskar. So what is Sai Sanskar all about? This is all the good value systems that were there and that's there in our system. Like what is the impact of uh, children touching the feet of the parents or grandparents at least once a week and realize how it feel, makes them feel on this complete surrender. What is the value of humility that builds into them when they touch the feet of their parents? What is the impact on their character by using more and more three simple words, sorry, thank you and please. And the more and more you use these three words, how your character index goes very high. What is your respect towards your grandparents and your parents? So all that we teach them in Sai Sanskar and also teach them about spirituality and about various religions, you know, what are the, all the good things that are there in various religions. So this is the, you know, joint partnership that we need uh, for our own children to grow. That in our 
very good Indian traditional system of grooming we had the family values flow from grandparents to the parents to the children and the family values the age old stories the grandma stories are still in me which i heard from my grandmother and this remains as the character building of the children so the grandparents who are present here and through the parents who are present here i i again request that let this elders tradition of uh, our great nation of the family values flowing from grandparents to the grandchild continue that will probably fill up the vacuum which is there and make our children more sensible our children tend to spend more time with the facebook or with the tv or with the internet because they are more engaged because there is no engagement with the grandparents so please wherever possible if the grandparents are staying with you please try to you know see that children spend more time with them if they are not then at least every year for 15 days let them go and spend time with their grandchildren it will have a tremendous and valuable impact on each child so these are the two sincere requests i am making fathers to spend at least one hour every day and grandparents to connect our teachers of primary division are fabulous if uh, the more i praise them the more i feel happy so i request all of you to give a big hand to all the primary teachers for the, all the hard work that they have done you'll see for yourself the way they have trained our children and the way they will perform so they have been they have been actually the the flavor of the school the primary teachers are the flavor of the school and they have been they have kept sai angan as one of the most promising institutions of our country thank you again for coming in a large number and helping to make sai one of the good institution of our country we are, we are grateful for your partnership and together we can see that each child grows perfectly as 360 because we understand when we hold one hand of the child the parents hold the other hand then only the child will have a balanced growth thank you and god bless you.